Hello and welcome back to the channel. If you're after a motorcycle helmet intercom system that can connect up to six riders via mesh with a thousand meters of range, or even if you want to be able to answer your calls while you're riding along via voice commands, or even better, you just want to chill out listening to your music and share it with your pillion passenger, and you want all of these things in a waterproof communication system for less than 70 pounds, well, I've just been sent the EJAS Q8 system that boasts all of this and even more to give it an 11 out of 10 test. So let's see exactly what you get for less than 70 quid out on the road. Let's cue the intro. <laughs> So let's start with the great unboxing. Now the box feels good quality, well printed, and it labels all of the functions that the Q8 has to offer. On opening up the box, you'll find everything well packaged, nice and secure, so there'll be no damage to any of the product inside. Once you've opened the box, you will find that it's got a list of the products that you just have to offer, plus your instruction manual. This is extremely well printed with easy to follow installation instructions and user manual guide. Next, you'll find your Q8 device itself. This feels really good, premium quality. It's got a water rating of IP67. You've got a type C input. The power button and the control buttons feel extremely good quality and quite easy to find with my hand and press initially out of the box. Plus you've got this aerial that pops up to help you improve your range. Underneath the packaging, you will find all of your accessories that you need to install and charge your Q8 system. This will include a stick-on microphone, speakers plus a boom microphone, a Type-C data and charging cable, a stick-on plus push-on helmet mount, and four Velcro stick-on speaker mounts. That's extremely good because it means that if you decide to move your comms unit to another helmet, you can, and that is everything you need to get started. So let's move on to installation. So the first thing you need to do is remove all of the padding from inside your helmet to give you easy access to all the sides. Then you stick in your speaker Velcro mount. Obviously repeat that both sides. Then you need to stick on your microphone in the location that you require with inside the helmet. Once that's done, locate your microphone onto the pad. Then take your speakers and likewise mount them onto the pads. Of course, repeat both sides. Next up, take your preferred mount. For me, it's the stick on one. Simply unpeel, push it into the location where you want the comms unit to sit. Take your Q8 comm system and then just click it into place. After that, connect your type C input into the comms unit, plus connect your microphone and then you hide all of the wires inside the helmet itself. Once that's complete, put all of your padding back into place, making sure it's nice and secure. And as you can see, that the wiring will be nicely and neatly tucked away. Just perfect for when you go out on your ride. Now take your Q8 comms and give them a full charge before use. It won't take very long and it'll be ready to go. Now pairing the two mesh systems together could not be easier. Just turn on both units by pressing the EJAS symbol and the power button on the back. Hold the power button on the back for just five seconds until it starts to flash red and blue. Repeat this on the second set of comms. Once you get that blue and red flashing light, pick which one's the master, just tap the power button one more time and then they'll pair really quickly and that is your mesh system ready to go. Now it's time for the real world test. And when I say real world, we have picked a really rubbish, wet, kind of overcast day here in England to put it through its test. Now the Q8 system straight to hand is super easy. Now just while I ride along, if I hold down the back of the button just here at the back, for five seconds, it pings to life. 
and then you can hear the bub bub and you're set. Now I've already connected the Bluetooth to the comms unit just before I've left my house. That is super easy as well. That literally is holding down the EJAS button for five seconds on the side. It starts flashing red and blue. You go into your uh, Bluetooth on your phone and it connects. Once it's connected, the same as you've got with the mesh system, it will be straight away and instant. And every time you switch them on, bang, you're straight in. What I really, 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 really like. Now it's a real world test. Let's start off with playing some actual tunes because playing music as I ride is something that I do on a regular basis especially if I'm commuting to work or when I want to listen to a podcast or the radio or something so I want to know what the sound quality of the speakers is like so I'm going to pull in I'm actually going to select a track now obviously I use copyright free music and I'm going to have a listen to the actual tune and I'll give you my verdict on the quality sound that you're going to get from these speakers because it's got to be good it's got to be good okay so let's listen to some music let's go over to epidemic sound where I get my music from and we're going to go off their staff picks ain't no love let's play that now that sounds good already yeah So with the music playing, what I can do is reach up to turn it up and down with the minus and the plus button. Okay, that works really well. And then let's turn it down. You get a slight beep so you know you're pressing it. Now I can easily reach that to turn that up and down. And once you hit your minimum volume as well, it will tell you minimum volume. Likewise, when you turn it up for maximum volume. So the buttons are really, really easy to reach when it's music. Just for when you pick up your speed and you want it a little bit longer, you can just turn it down. That's really, really good. And just to mute it, press the EJAS button again and bump the music stopped. Press it again and the music will start. And there's the music playing again. That's really, really cool. And I'm going to stop it again. Now the next big test, of course, is making and receiving calls. So I'm going to try that using the voice prompt that this Q8 system can do. So I don't have to pull over, I don't have to stop, and I don't have to sit there messing around with my phone, and then getting back on the road again. So let's give it a go. Hey Siri, call Abby. Hello. Hello, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Are the comms working really nice and clear? Yeah, really clear actually. Yeah, very clear, crystal. Right, I'm just stood still, so I'm going to accelerate a little bit, just see if you can hear me nicely at speed as well. So I'm currently doing about 40 miles an hour. Can you hear me nice and clearly now? Yeah, I can still hear you. Can you tell that I'm riding a bike at all? Uh, I can hear the engine noise slightly, but it's it's crystal clear. Lovely, and if I now bring it up to 60 miles an hour, that's the national speed limit, what's it sound like now? Uh, the same. It's perfect. So making that call was really easy. I got the voice command to do it, so I didn't have to stop. I have then managed to make the call, and the quality of the sound is actually better than what I'd get if I just was holding the phone to my ear, because I've got it in both. And the quality of the speakers, from even playing the music to having that call, a really good quality, it's like surprisingly good quality. I am well impressed, and I could hear really loudly the music as I was riding along, plus obviously having that phone conversation. So now it's time for the big test. Of course that is checking out the mesh system and what it's like either riding with friends or with a pillion on the back. Today I've got a pillion on the back, obviously that's Ladyhead and she has the Q8 comm system as well. So we're going to try it out at actual different speeds so we can make sure that it works flawlessly and then we'll move on to the range test. So here we go, let's see how good this mesh system is. Right, from 0 to 60, we'll see how these comms go. So first of all, we just set off from this roundabout. Ladyhead, can you hear me nice and clearly? Yes, hello. Now there's no beep, there's no interference, so I can hear her perfectly. As we pick up the speed now, right up to 60 miles an hour, we're cruising at the national speed limit. What's the sound like to you, Ladyhead, on the back? Yes, perfect. 
Now I'm generally not surprised how good this mesh system is and how clear these comms are because from EJAS I've come to expect nothing but fantastic audio quality and these really do not let down at all. So the range test is going to be really simple. I'm going to leave Lady Head here on top of this hill. As you can see it's a terribly awful day. It's rainy, it's windy, it's perfect for interference between the mesh system. I'm going to ride as far as I can down that hill through this rainy visor until we cut off and see what the distance is like and then when I turn around it should automatically connect because that's the joys of mesh so when you're in that group ride it keep automatically connecting even if you drop out and it links off of each person what gives you an incredible amount of range as well so let's see how far the Q8 system is going to take us today so let's go so can you still hear me and nice and clearly lady head yeah perfect yeah it is absolutely perfect as we go further and further down this hill now you're becoming a speck in my mirror already can you hear me yep i can hear you nice loud and clear yeah it's perfect it's crystal clear fantastic now you are literally like an ant in my mirror now so we are going to turn down here and things should get quite interesting and we should cut off any any second because this is a decent distance but can you hear me now yeah i can hear you wow that is really impressive right she's right up top there on that hill that far away can you still hear me now yeah i can hear you wow that is amazing right let's go a little bit further along here and can you hear me now yes wow now we're behind loads of trees and debris can you hear me now yes well, it's breaking up to for me so you are right behind a massive like, mountain now can you hear me so it's just cut off that is the furthest i've ever been with comms ever wow at this price point with that range that is seriously incredible and with poor weather conditions all the things that you don't want to happen when you're out riding and we got that far that's impressive well now of course it is time to see if they'll auto connect so let's go down the road and let's see at what point they auto connect here we go so let's see where they auto connect with roughly the same ish place as we cut off can you hear me now let's get a little bit closer have they auto reconnected can you hear me now yeah hello welcome me. and we're back in still behind all the trees and the bushes and i still can't see a uh, and I, oh, I can just see uh, literally if I turn my head as far right as I can as we turn around here you'll see the distances now just as a point of view she's waving in the distance over there she can hear me can you hear me yeah I can hear you put both hands in the air like you just don't care and there we go that is incredible distance I am so impressed it's unreal so as you can see the distances that you could have between riders as you're going along is mighty and they will automatically connect what is an absolute bonus and is the joys of the mesh system well i've got to say it i am unbelievably impressed for just 67.99 great british pounds that's the current price you can pick this up over on the ejas website you get so much six rider intercom and to be fair just talking to my pillion on the back the sound quality is fantastic it's not too tinny it's not robotic it's just the right amount of bass likewise for listening to music i generally found it really good and i could turn that volume button up down and up sort of really easily as well i could feel the buttons and you get a beep to know that you've done it as well and it will tell you the limit that i really like as well as making a call on the fly so if you're riding on you think i need to call someone let them know i'm either late or ring up the office you can just press that button and you've got voice commands to your smartphone really impressive now one of the big questions i always get asked is can you share your music with your pillion while you're riding along and with the q8 system yes you can via bluetooth you make one a master you make the other one a slave and you can enjoy chilling out riding along together listening to the same tune that's absolutely brilliant and i've got to say again the music and the sound quality was absolutely fantastic so pop over to them pick up yours now everything you need to know about it is down in the description just go down click on there everything's there and you can pick one up because i know where my money would be going for less than 70 quid you'll get in that system it's really impressive anyway i'm going to go back out i'm going to enjoy another ride listen to some more tunes using that awesome awesome helmet intercom and i'll see you in the next bonkers helmet head adventure bye bye for now Thank you